What's up, fams? We got to talk about this. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button and shout out to my gang, gang, gang. Yo, gang, get your merch, get your goddamn merch. And shout out to everyone who purchased merch, man. For a lot of you guys out there, it's being shipped right now, okay? They're making it happen. We ran into a few problems, like with the hats, but now it's corrected. Like the lines were like too small, but now everything is legit and they're being shipped out, okay? So, uh, thank you to you guys. If you want to get some merch, go to damaslivemerch.com. Link in the description. Get your goddamn t-shirts, man. They're fire. We got to talk about this one. Now, a lot of people have been asking me to update them on Kodak Black. And to be honest, I kind of stepped away from the case a little bit, right? I did a few videos on him getting arrested. But once he actually got there and the court proceeding started to take place, I kind of took a step back. Now, the information that you guys missed out on was the fact that a few of Kodak Black's charges got dropped. Now, if you guys remember, right, he was hit with a gun charge. He was hit with a freaking weed charge. He was hit with a freaking ammo charge. And they said, you don't know how to take care of your kids. And we gonna hit you with a goddamn neglect charge because you got your son around all of this BS. So Kodak Black, he got to jail, right? He started cutting friends off. As you guys remember from the one video I told you that he said he had fake friends around him. I said, yo, looks like X was right about that, right? And Kodak Black told his lawyer, he's like, look, man, you need to get these cops to start dusting these guns. So Kodak Black started to scream, this ain't mine. You better start dusting. So they end up dropping the gun charge from him because it appears, or at least they think, it's not his, right? Now, they also end up dropping the neglect charge. I'm guessing that happened because they gave him a neglect charge because the gun was around. So with that being dropped, there goes a neglect charge. Now, the two charges that he still has left on him is the weed charge and the ammo charge. It's being reported right now that Kodak Black has pled not guilty to the weed charge and to the ammo charge. Now, I would think, right, he should be able to get out of this weed charge, man. Like, the guy's on probation. He's been passing his P-test. I would think that he would be able to use that as evidence and say, look, this weed ain't mine. I'm passing my P-test. How are you going to charge me with this, right? So he should be able to get that knocked off. Now, the real problem, of course, is going to be the ammo, man. Who's going to take responsibility for the ammo? That's the question. Now, I've been looking for information on this, and I'm starting to wonder what type of ammo this is, because if this is some hollow points, I can understand why none of these people are trying to take blame for it off of Kodak Black, right? Because using this situation, like I told you guys before, in every rap group, there's always a few people that's willing to step up and take a few charges off of the rapper because they're usually not working, and he's the one that's bringing in all the money, right? I mean, he goes to jail. He can't work. You can't go to Popeye's. So you need him to continue to bring in the money. Now, if these are hollow points, of course, that's probably going to come with a few years or maybe some time. So I can understand why people may not be trying to take that charge. But judging by what Kodak Black was tweeting out about having to get rid of some of these fake friends and his friends gonna have him back in the same place that he's at right now as soon as he gets out and he had to get rid of them it's kind of telling me that some of these people didn't want to take the charge now the so kodak black is like what the hell now we'll see what happens to kodak black in this situation he has pled not guilty to the ammo charge and to the weed charge i would at least think he's probably going to be able to beat this case, man. I think Kodak Black is gonna beat this one. He has a chance. 
He has a chance. You guys let me know what's in the comment section below. I'm Dumb is Live, and you guys have a great day, man.